In this project, we take a set of motion capture clips and compute a value function which stores the future rewards associated with each state. At runtime, the system need only perform simple lookups into the value function, resulting in responsive real-time controllers. Our technique represents the value function with a set of basis functions. This yields compact, continuous value functions, like this straight walk value function, which requires only nine numbers to specify. Different bases can produce more complex value functions. Our framework automatically prevents footskate without inverse kinematics for a wide class of motion, including walking and running. Our most basic variable controls the direction of motion. Because we use basis functions, planning is performed in a completely continuous space without the need for excessive samples. We can also change the speed of motion. The user can flip the direction with one key press. The system provides near optimal transitions between different gates. Despite running a full optimal controller, our system is responsive to sharp turns at all speeds. We can also vary the torso orientation. Like changing speed, changing the torso orientation naturally yields completely different gates. Of course, we can still turn, even under different torso orientations. We can also change speed. We now compare planning versus greedy controllers. The greedy controller makes wide, slow turns. The planning controller, by contrast, takes steps to allow efficient, sharp turns. Comparisons with different polynomial degrees are also shown. Remarkably, the very compact second order approximation is essentially identical to higher order approximations. Our framework can produce completely different behavior simply by specifying the appropriate terms in the cost function. By rewarding the angular velocity of the torso, we can create a spin walking motion with directional control. We can also use our framework to avoid fixed obstacles. We increase the dimensionality of the state space to include the position of the object. The character avoids the obstacle with simple lookups into the value function. And in this case, the user is not controlling the character. This is possible at high speeds as well. Our framework can produce near-optimal transitions between separate controllers, even those learnt on different motion sets. We can switch to a spinning controller. When the obstacle appears, the character automatically switches to avoidance mode. We can even handle moving obstacles by introducing two new variables. The speed of obstacle movement and the optical movement direction. One interesting application is local crowd dynamics. Ordinarily, these three people would cross, but with moving optical avoidance, they can avoid one another. To see why, each character fits a linear obstacle model to an adjacent character. Now we show a bigger crowd. Other than fitting the model, all obstacle avoidance is handled simply through value function lookups. We don't need to hand design any complicated avoidance policies. While our algorithm does not guarantee lack of intersections, at this density level they are actually quite rare.